Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Gemini. This is for the last week of April 2019. This is for the Gemini signs. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope this end of month is giving you the best time, the best is is giving you the best of what you want in your relationship and in your dating life, okay? So let's ask the universe, what can I get for my Gemini friends? Significant message that they need to know that will be able to help them with their worries and concerns with regards to their love, romantic relationship, or dating, please. Oh no, five of cups in upright position. What can I get for Gemini, please? Nine of wands. This card has been popping out mostly for... for Majority of the reading, like 90%, 80, 80, 80 to 90%, you know, this card is here. You've got a Queen of Cups, and you've got the High Priestess, and um, you've got a Seven of Swords in reverse. So let's start your reading, Gemini. So your first card is the Five of Cups. This is regret, sadness, loneliness, unable to move on, unable to forgive. This is not really, this is a sad card for end of the month. It's like for some of you, you haven't let go, you haven't forgiven, you haven't healed. It's it's in, in a general one, this is death. Like you're mourning, you're being sad about something that's gone. It could be last, you know, last week of April. You're still um, contemplating or thinking about stuff that doesn't work, stuff that's gone, you know, decision that, you made communication or words you said something that's gone out and you can never take back and you're sitting you're still sitting on this energy where you kind of regret you're still sad about a loss about something that's out that's something that cannot be reversed um if you look at this card this person is looking down at the f at the three cups spilled in the ground um, but he never realized that when he turns his back, there's still two cups in here. You know, it, it is it is a card where it's it's really telling you at the end of April, if there's something in your life, love, romantic and dating that's not working or it's gone, something that you cannot take back. You really have to look at it at one last glance. Give it one last look and turn your face or move forward. As if it never happens again. Very strong message. You've got to be tough. You know, for some of you, I'm, I'm I'm really picking up an energy. You have to be strong, right? You need to be strong. I know you've been hurt. I know you've struggled. I know there is pain. It's painful. It's a struggle. It's 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 for some of you. You 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 felt like it's why for some of you. I'm picking like why, why is this happening? Why why it needs to happen to me? why now some sort of like that so nine of wands this is a wounded warrior you know it's a warrior it's a person who is fighting who is not giving up but for some reason he or she is 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 tired you know every, every all, all of us you know we 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 you know we 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 experience we come to a point that we want something we love something we want something we love something we like something we fight we stay, we believe. But in this case, this Nine of Wands is saying that to move forward is to release. You know, Ten of Wands, Nine and Ten. To move forward is to unburden, release yourself out from this because you will, you will eventually burn yourself out. Like you will, there will be no energy left at you if you keep on you know, if you keep on fighting, it's it's like a wounded warrior. You're wounded. You've been hurt in a battle. You are not really as strong as you were before. So if you're gonna give it a try, some 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 more, if you're gonna get up without resting, then you are going to pass out. So it is as asking you and advising you to release, let go, and have a rest, because it is such a heavy thing to go and move forward with this amount of battle or struggle that you went through okay nine of wands ten of wands this is detaching releasing from 
as a person a situation that's giving you burden you need to heal before you get ready for your next battle okay for some of you it's not advising you to stop okay especially if this is a person a situation that you really really like you really really love you know for some of you you're just being advised to just heal to just recuperate to just give yourself you know time for a break you know because it is going to max your out it, it your energy is going to max you're going to max your max out your energy from a person from a situation that is gone where you need to release and accept and then recuperate and plan b okay um the good thing about the reading is that seeing the seven of swords in reverse so there's definitely there is going to be progress all right there is a good good progress about whatever it is that you've you are gearing towards to you know end of end of um last week of may going to first week of may you need to really just focus on healing um getting yourself pulling yourself together again I'm 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 really um I'm picking up could be a breakup a temporary breakup a challenge some some sort of no no talking or on and off something that's that's causing you to to not give up but you're already tired okay there is gonna be improvement to progress is to release okay I think I've mentioned it already for you to progress. And to move forward is you've got to let go and release some stuff. Some stuff that's not working. It could be, it could just be an energy where you linger about old memories, old hurt and pain that is weighing you down. So you need to release that out. You've got the Queen of Cups. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces or a, um, a Cancer. Queen of Cups is one of the most, uh, one of the cards that's unconditional love. And this could be you. You know, you have such, you have so much love to give. And, um, but that love, you know, it needs to, it, it, this is a cup, you know, you have, you, you have, maybe in the past year, you, you, maybe you need to really um, pour or fill in again these cups before you share it. Because sharing an en empty cup, it's like sharing an empty cup is not going to give you the result that you want. Because right now, it's empty right you got you still you can love things is still gonna work you know the seven of swords here it's gonna work it's gonna progress but right now you're being advised to fill in this cups cup is it how many just one sorry but it says queen of cups so you need to be the same queen of cups where it has a lot of love to give for you to share that love towards another person, another human being, you need to heal. You need first to fill in yourself with love, healing, and restful before you could actually offer yourself again. Okay? The high priest is in reverse and it's back to back with the queen of cups. Because up front, you know, I felt like this is you up front saying, I could still love, I could still try, I could still understand, forgive, blah, blah, blah. But internally, your soul, your body, your mind, your heart is saying, no, I'm really tired. Okay? It's really saying your physical body is strong, but your spirit is not. Um, yeah, like yeah, like physically, could be mentally. You're thinking that I still can do this, love this, forgive this, make this happen. But you need to fill in the cups. You need to rest. You need to recuperate. You need to unload things that's weighing you down. Especially if it's a major. For some of you, it could be death. I'm sorry if it's a dead, but for some of you, it's a lost. It's something that you lost and it's something really valuable towards you. And the more you cling to that loss, something that's gone, something that you cannot take it back or reverse back. This is what's weighing you down. It, it is advising you that there is going to be progress. You need to release and let go. And you can try again, but you need to rest and recuperate and get your strength back before you try forgive or love again okay so this is for you it's a strong 
um, straightforward message for someone who is stubborn, who would like to try, but is not getting really the, you know, the best of the outcome. Because right now, at this moment, there's a need really for you to release, to detach or to let go. Like you're holding on for something, someone that you lost, but that person is um or that situation it's it's past it's it's something that you know um it's something difficult to get back it will you know it will take um lots of your energy and time to make it happen it's like it's really impossible right now you need to first look after yourself in if you have kids, you know, I'm seeing because I'm seeing this kids on the Queen of Cups um, card. You know, you need to look after yourself so that you can look after your kids, your other responsibility before you could love again. All right. Or be back to this person again. There is an advice to heal, to recuperate, to fill in your cups before you could share it. Okay. And um, there is going to, what, what good, the good thing about this reading is that there's a progress, but someone needs to accept whatever is gone and move along to get, um, to, to build new momentum, new memories where, because sometimes building, because happy memories, it, it gives us new vibe and it counters the negativity. So for some of you, you're being advised to go out, chin up, and enjoy the, the, the people around you that is still there. And don't mourn about things that's gone or something that's impossible to revive, you know. Um, so, yep, this is your reading. Thanks for being here. I hope you have um, a message for today that will be able to help you with your worries and concern. If you do, I would appreciate, guys, if you click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And um, what else? And yep, to those previous subscribers and who have already joined my theme, thank you. Thank you very much for your awesome support. And we'll see you soon again with love reading, bonus reading, and daily ones. All right? Thank you.